For more than 50 years, the standard light source for a fluorescence microscope has been the mercury arc lamp. In the old days of fluorescence microscopy, the light was down below and the light was brought in through a substage dark field condenser to achieve uh, dark field fluorescence. Uh, Dr. Plume invented the Plume Illuminator, as you see here on this older lights microscope. But again, for 50 years we've been using mercury arc, and uh, now that has been replaced in many cases by the LED illuminator. Uh, prior to the LED, attempts were made to use metal halide lamps. Uh, one of the problems with mercury arc is they are quite uh, hazardous. They're short-lived at, uh, oh, the 100 watt is maybe 200 hours if you're lucky uh, at full intensity. Where the LED illuminator uh, that can easily replace this lamp uh, will last 50,000 hours or more. So here we're retrofitting with an adapter that will be used for different types of microscopes. We still use the epifluorescence or plume illuminator for the particular make of microscope. Uh, this is a three lambda plume that allows us to put in three filter cubes uh, into this light source and change them with a rotating turret. So this is a fairly common design that was designed many years ago by E-Lights and it's now used by virtually all makers of microscopes in the world today. <clears throat> so a new lamp uh, with this adapter for the lights microscope can be put onto the microscope in a matter of seconds. And this is the Scopelad S-Series, which has two wavelength fluorescence. We have a, a fluorescence uh, blue light exciter built into the uh, illuminator itself and a secondary uh, uh, LED for green light excitation mounted above. And with this control unit, we can quickly switch from one lambda to two lambda, uh, and we can also adjust the intensity of the LEDs as needed. Now built into the plume illuminator are the standard filter cubes based on the fluorochromes that you'll be working with. So let's go back to the F-Series scope LED. It's made in America. Uh, it just requires a standard AC-DC power supply that comes with it. Nothing fancy there. The unique feature about this lamp housing is the built-in collector lens. So we can adjust a collector lens to optimize the light for whatever objective lenses we're going to use on the microscope, i.e. for low power objective tissue uh, fluorescence, you may want to uh, disperse the light, homogenize it evenly across the field of view, or if you're doing a lot of work at 100x oil, you may want to focus the collector lens uh, to get maximum intensity. One nice thing about LED as compared to mercury arc is the fact that LEDs are very evenly uh, spaced and this results in a very homogeneous uh, illumination beam, unlike mercury arc lamps that have a hot spot in the center and you have to play with the collector lens and make sure everything is centered uh, dead perfect to uh, do proper fluorescence microscopy. So with that, let's get started. We'll take a look at um, turning the unit on. And here you'll see we've got a small uh, TIFF screen and a camera built into the photo tube just for visualization uh, of the unit. And we can adjust intensity. We can focus the collector lens so that we have optimized illumination. This is just a standard 25x dry objective looking at some lung tissue uh, that's been thin sectioned. And to go to the uh, 
secondary wavelength, the green light excitation, we can quickly, hopefully you can see that, and with the camera we can go in here to the control unit and tweak up the intensity a bit more, tweak up the sensitivity. And there's that same lung tissue, again back to blue light excitation, which gives us green stoke shift emissions. So it does a really nice job uh, even with dry objectives. And this is a fairly run-of-the-mill uh, SCMOS sensor in this camera, so there's no Peltier cooling going on here. It shows you how uh, uh, far along they've come with CMOS sensor cameras and having the TIFF screen makes it nice because we can tilt it at different angles depending on the room light and of course it's best that you keep the room lights dim when you are doing any type of fluorescence microscopy. We can turn that down. And again, to go to Green light excitation, we simply dial in the filter cube for uh, 560 nanometer illumination and turn up the light. And you see the advantage of a TIFF screen, you can tilt it at different angles and the intensity does not change. So it's a great teaching aid, it's good for uh, group discussions. Here's the collector lens we're adjusting. And that's about it. It's a very uh, uh, easy to adapt with these adapter rings that we use. This is one for a Nikon. This is one for the newer lights microscopes, bayonet flange. And they just simply attach to the front here of the F-series scope lead uh, based on the type of microscope that you have. That's it for now. Uh, call Bunton if you have any questions about the scope lead F-series. LED illuminator made in America.